It is middle of winter right now where I am, and this is my 2007 Chevy Tahoe LTZ, and it is nasty out. As you can see, this is just a crazy amount of mud, and I have mud all along the side of my Tahoe and all of that. But you don't want to know what? The interior of my Tahoe is actually in pretty good condition, and that is because of the product I am reviewing today. So about a year ago, I installed some Husky Weatherbeater floor liners in my Tahoe. A real truck had gifted them to me and now I'm kind of doing a follow-up to see how they are one year later and this is the driver's side as you can see it has been doing its job <laughs> uh, it is pretty nasty right now so we actually have it both in the front and in the middle seats as well and then I went ahead and when I did this I opted to have them send out the rear cargo liners as well so as you can see when this opens up I have the floor liners in the back as well. All right, so these floor liners are by no means cheap. In fact, the front floor liners are sitting around $160 alone, and then the rear cargo liner is an additional $120, which means you're spending around $280 for this specific application to put in just floor liners into your Tahoe, or it, and of course it can range in price depending on what vehicle you have. However, I'm gonna go into all of the things that I like about these floor liners, and of course, what I don't like about these floor liners so you guys can know for yourself if it's right for you. So first thing up let's talk about what I like about these floor liners and honestly the first thing comes down to their style and they really completely change the look of my Tahoe. As you can see I actually have some lighter floors so I added these black ones in here to kind of modernize the interior and it really did change just kind of the way that this flooring feels and the bonus is this flooring in my Tahoe is also extremely stained it was like this when I bought it, but don't worry. I actually got a really good deal on this Tahoe because of things like that. But these floor liners really change the feel and look of it. And I really like that. And the next thing I like, let's jump into the middle row here is this. So these are extremely molded to each application. As you can see, it perfectly goes around all the different lines and even comes around here and kind of molds around here. And then it even goes over the transmission hump there. So each of these applications are completely covered custom to each vehicle. So what that means is you get the best coverage possible because when you go through like those universal mats and that kind of stuff, they obviously kind of make it a little bit smaller. It doesn't reach all the way to the hard points of the SUV and it just doesn't work as well because universal just is universal. It's not specific to your vehicle. And I was really impressed with these. Honestly, for the price, it's a really good deal. Another thing that I really liked about these Weatherbeater floor liners is, again, going back to how custom they are, it allows for things like this that other floor liners don't have. As you can see right here, this is a basically a little <laughs> kind of like drip pan type thing that directs any water that does get into the floor liner, it directs it down into your door jam and out of the vehicle. So they do maintain some kind of water, but because of this, if they get overflowed and that kind of stuff, it doesn't flow off into your carpeting, it flows down your door jams and out of the vehicle. And I think that's pretty smart. The next thing that I like is just how easy to install these are. Each one, again, is specific. So basically you just lay them in there like you would any normal floor mat, even though they are all custom. They're super easy to put in. I will talk a little bit later about the rear cargo liner. That is a little bit more difficult, but we're gonna talk about that later. Another thing these floor liners do a really good job at is not sliding around because they are custom made to each vehicle. They don't really slide around. And that is assisted with a whole bunch of little kind of like prickly things that poke down into the carpet. They don't damage the carpet, but it's a really nice thing to have and they don't slide around because of those things. Of which on that note, it actually is kind of dangerous to have floor mats that slide around, especially in the driver's seat over here. Because what a lot of them do is a lot of these floor liners will get up and onto your brake pedal or onto your acceleration pedal. And it's actually really dangerous because it's hard to get them off when you're sitting in the seat if the floor liners go up on top of those pedals. And these, because they are so custom fit and they're really, really like thick material and really rigid, that really isn't an issue. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the things I don't like about these floor liners and to be completely honest I had to really work pretty hard to find something that I didn't like about these floor liners because these actually are one of my favorite modifications we have done so far stay tuned as there is one modification 
that I didn't actually super like. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the back here. So this is your rear cargo liner and it is really, really nice. This is actually coming extremely handy because we did sell my pickup truck to get this Tahoe. I have been taking stuff in the back, including garbage and that kind of stuff to the dump. And so it is really nice having these cargo liners in the back. However, the major downside to this cargo liner really came down to the install. While the front of this actually was really easy to put in, these rear, this rear cargo liner did actually require me to do a bunch of cutting with a razor and I don't know if I did it perfectly or anything like that but as you can see I had to kind of cut it and it goes down into these brackets and stuff especially so that you can get the third row brackets down into there so I had to do cuts there 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 and there it didn't take me too long but I honestly was a little bit surprised when I got them and they weren't pre-cut I don't know if it would have been too much more work on their side to pre-cut those for us but I assume the reason why they did that is for people that have the third row but don't actually have the third row installed and so they can actually leave those uncut but still be able to have it so that they could put the third row in later if they wanted to so that could be a pro or con but for me it was kind of annoying and a bit of a pain and then of course the final downside to these really comes down to price that $280 for the full kit is really expensive for a lot of people especially when you can probably pick up a full universal kit for around 50 bucks at a big box retailer which that actually leads me into talking about who these floor liners are for and if you should spend that large budget on getting these for your vehicle now of course I had these gifted to me by real truck but let's be honest I would probably buy these again. So there's two different groups of people that I would recommend these floor liners to. One is for those people that have massively damaged carpeting, which would be the group that I personally fit into. When I bought this Tahoe, I 100% realized that the carpeting on this thing was trash. As you can see, there are just stains all over this carpeting and there wasn't much that I could do with it. They had already detailed this when I bought it. So those stains honestly are probably there permanently. So these floor liners completely covered the interior of my Tahoe from front to back and so all that damage is completely hidden and it's also protected to continue keeping it from getting damaged more and then that's something that a universal floor liner just couldn't do very well because those universal floor liners are a little bit smaller a little bit cut a little bit smaller to be able to fit into a lot of different vehicles it's something that just wouldn't work as well and a lot of those stains would still be pretty obvious the second group of people that have this are for those people that actually have perfect floors and don't want that to change so again this is a complete cover floor liner and it works really really well at doing it and so if you're somebody that just bought a brand new car these husky floor liners are a fantastic option for somebody like you so who is this not for it's really for somebody that's not wanting to fork out 280 dollars to install these into their vehicle that is a huge number if you don't have the budget to do that don't buy these you shouldn't be spending a ton of money on it anyways i would recommend getting something like a universal to make sure that your carpeting is protected and your investment in this vehicle is protected but don't overextend yourself to get something that's $280 when you could probably spend somewhere between $20 and $50 and get a universal kit until you have the budget to get something more expensive. I do in the end recommend everybody getting these, but don't overextend yourself to make that happen. Now, I'm not somebody to just recommend every product to everyone, and I have to say... I do recommend this one. These Husky weather beaters are fantastic. Of course, there are some other products out there for that have custom built floor liners like WeatherTech. I haven't used WeatherTech all that much, but honestly, they're very, very similar. So make sure you do shop around when you're looking between a WeatherTech and a Husky to see which one honestly is a little bit cheaper for you. I will say they are both competitively priced. I think the Huskies are a little bit cheaper. I am leaving some links down in the description as well as the top comment for you guys to be able to purchase this. It is a paid link and helps me out by getting me a commission so if you did like this video and it helped you make a good purchase using that link does help me out of course also make sure to subscribe if you are interested in reviews like this i do review vehicles i review products and all that kind of stuff on this channel so if you find this helpful make sure to do that and then also make sure to like the video as it helps me out a ton with that said up on the screen right now is actually a full review of my 2007 chevy tahoe ltz that i recently came out with i've had it for about a year and i want to show you guys all about it